So this is joint work between Jarana Manetumuksa, who was a postdoc at UCLA at the time of the work, Jeffrey Dalton from University of Glasgow, Edgar May from Bloomberg, and myself from UCL. This work has mainly been led by Jaran actually, but unfortunately he couldn't make it last minute. So hopefully I'll still do a good job of representing and presenting the paper. Okay, so our main focus in this work is uh, on task-based virtual uh, uh, assistants, personal virtual assistants. And uh, uh, these are devices that interact with users in a natural language to help complete their tasks, such as taking taxi booking, search trend reservations, and so on. A core component in task-based virtual uh, person, personal assistance is the dialogue state tracking component. Basically, the goal of dialogue, dialogue state compo uh, tracking component is to make sure that the system can keep track of user's dialogue state from user's utterances at each dialogue term. Here, so you see an example of a user's dialogue state at a dialogue uh, state tracking task. In, in this case, we have domain slot pairs, which are given uh, in the ontology uh, before, predefined ontology. And the task here uh, by the system is to identify the values uh, that correspond to each of these domain slot pairs, identify domain slot pairs in, in the terms, as well as identify the corresponding values from user returns. Here you see an example of how dialogue state tracking works, an, an ideal example, and uh, what the task of the system is. So let's go through the uh, interaction between the user and the system for this particular case. We have a user who says, uh, I'm looking for a hotel to stay in Cambridge. The corresponding di dialogue state, the dialogue state tracking system should identify that the user is looking for a hotel in hotel area Cambridge. And then in the next turn, the system asks, do you have any preferences on the hotel's price range? The user says, no, I don't, just need parking. So the system identifies that the uh, hotel, hotel area is still Cambridge from previous, that comes from previous turn, but the hotel price is don't, don't care. That one is like a binary attribute, uh, uh, but actually in this case, test three values, it should be low, high, and uh, don't care. And the hotel parking is true. Then next, the system says, how about Clayton Hotel next to the train station? It has free parking. Do you like me to book it? And uh, the system, the user says, yes, that sounds good. Can you please book the hotel for two nights? Here we have an example where the system suggests a value, and, uh, uh, which is the Clayton Hotel. And the, system, and, uh, the user accepts that. And uh, it says uh, the user also adds that he, they would like to have a hotel room for two nights. So this, the dialogue state uh, tracking system should be able to infer that the uh, hotel name is Clayton Hotel, the one that is suggested by the system, not that doesn't come from the user directly, and the hotel book stays two nights. Finally, the system says booking was successful. Anything else I can do for you? And the user answers, can you book me a taxi from the hotel to King's College Chapel? Now the, the user switched to slightly different task of taxi booking. And the system, the dialogue state tracking system, should be able to accurately understand that the departure of the taxi is from a uh, Clayton Hotel, which comes from uh, previous terms. And now the destination uh, of the hotel is King's College Chapel, which, which comes from this particular term. Now, given this uh, background about the task of the dialogue state tracking system, and uh, how does it, how do the system, does the system work in reality? So you can see that there are three different types of uh, uh, ways the system can infer the values of domain slot pairs. One is spam-based value, where you see an example in this first turn where the user says, "I'm looking for somewhere to stay in Cambridge." And uh, the value of the uh, domain spot pair hotel area comes from a span within that turn, North Cambridge, that directly comes from the turn. The second way uh, this uh, value of the domain spot pair can be obtained is based on informed based values, which comes from the system itself, as opposed to the uh, utterance of the user. So here in turn two, you see an example where system says, would you like to try uh, the lower lodge? And uh, this, the, the user accepts that. Uh, so the, the system, dialogue state tracking system, should be able to understand that the value proposed by the system, uh, inform-based value, is accepted by the user and identify the domain slot uh, value accordingly. 
Finally, uh, the value can be can come from ref, what we call refer-based value, meaning it could come from some dialogue state from previous terms. So in the third utterance here, and same uh, also in the second utterance, we see examples of that, where, for example, hotel area is identified as North Cambridge, which comes from the first utterance, even though the, 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 uh, the system is mainly focusing on the third term here. Same like a uh, lower lodge comes from the second utterance, is propagated from second utterance to third utterance and so on. So these are the three different types of ways in which the domain slot pair can be obtained. And the task uh, then uh, is to correctly identify uh, how these uh, domain slot value pairs can be obtained and their associated values. So there is, of course, some quite uh, related work related to this, quite strong. Uh, there are existing DST models, uh, such as 3 uh, for example, and SOM, uh, SOM DST, dialogue state tracking, which show uh, promising results for this task. But their architectures are not scalable because they only have per slot parameters, which means that they need to be retrained to learn them for new domains and unseen slots. As you can imagine, in a, a in a, a dialogue state tracking task, when people use uh, virtual agents for uh, to accomplish tasks, so their everyday task, these systems can be used with many different domains, many different tasks. So it's very difficult to have a, a, to your training data represent all possible domain slot pairs, which is the reason why these models are not really ideal. There are some scalable uh, multi-domain DST models that have been proposed uh, to transfer tracking knowledge across different domain, domains and slots. So basically these are uh, uh, models that can use the training data and look at kind of generalize from the training data to other uh, uh, slot domain pairs that are not necessarily present in the training data. And they can do that because their model parameters are shared across different domains. So when, it, when there is a new domain, they don't necessarily need to retrain, which is similar to what we do in our paper. Yet they cannot leverage auxiliary features, such as the system inform, inform memory and the dialogue state memory from the previous term, which is a problem. And in our paper, uh, our proposed model not only uh, has uh, shared parameters across different domains, but it also can leverage these aux auxiliary features, such as system informed memory and dialogue state memory, which enables the system to be able to capture both uh, kind of recommendations that come from the used system more accurately, as well as to better keep track of information or dialogue state information that comes from previous terms. This is the architecture of our similarity-based dialogue state tracking model. So we have the input layer at the bottom, uh, which is the input uh, to our model. Uh, and it's based on users' current utterance, UT, and the system response to the current utterance, RT, together with historical dialogue, H of T, uh, which basically captures uh, the user response pairs for all the historic, all the previous conversations. And some auxiliary features which tells us if the in the previous slots the values come from uh, if the slot has value uh, that comes from, uh, from before or if the system inform memory is used. Then we have the second uh, layer, which is a slot and a dialogue encoder layer, where the encoder layer just encodes the given input into low dimensional contextualized representations. One difference that uh, from some of the previous, most of the previous work here is that uh, most previous work use uh, sentence-based encodings here, whereas in our work, we use sentence-based encodings together with token-based encodings uh, for encoding. Then for the third layer, uh, we look at the correlation between dialogue and domain slot pair, uh, so that uh, then there is a new domain, for example, and a new domain slot pair that is not in the training data, we can still accurately uh, infer the value of the, uh, the corresponding value for this domain slot pair. And these correlations are also useful to identify the spans for the, uh, for the, from the current utterance. Finally, we have uh, the prediction layer, where we have three type, types of predictors, predictors, which is the slot operation. What type of operation uh, should be done here? Meaning, does it should be just, uh, does this part, the value of this particular slot does it exist here? Should it come from the span base, span within this particular utterance, or should it come from dialogue history, for example? So let's take a look uh, into more detail into this. Uh, this is the architecture, the basic architecture, the first layer. 
where as you can see, we have two encoders. We have the dialogue encoder that aims to capture the user's intent from dialogue context. As you can see, we have a UT and RT, the user's utterance for this term, and together with the, the response from this for this term, as well as the system history, age of D for the history, which, which uh, basically contains user utterance and the system response for all the previous terms. And uh, we basically use token-based representations to re represent these, but we also combine it with sentence-based representation, CLS, that comes from uh, BERT. So uh, in a sense, we are using both tokens and the sentence-based representations here. Then we have the slot encoder, which learns the representation of different domain slot pairs, such as taxi destination. The input to the uh, uh, to the uh, slot encoder is this the text for this tax uh, like the domain slot pair such as taxi destination together with the description or the textual description that is available in the ontology for example that is used to describe what this domain slot pair is and similar to the dialogue encoder we tokenize all of this and we use token based representations to represent s1 uh, to s max and we also concatenate this with CLS sentence-based representations uh, representation for the slot encoder as well. Then in the second layer, we have the similarity uh, layer. Basically, the idea here is that it comes from uh, how search engines are built. Instead of having, uh, basically we see, instead of having one single dialogue state encoder, which is a traditional case in dialogue state tracking task, and, uh, and ha have different classifiers for each slot. We have one dialogue encoder and one slot encoder, and we see the task of mapping the dialogue text or identifying the corresponding parts uh, values for the slot is a kind of similar to like a search task. In a search task, you would have the query and you would I try to identify the results that are similar to the query. In this case, you can think of the dialogue as the query, and you try to kind of identify a, a, which slots are similar to this uh, uh, dialogue, for example, so that it can you can identify the corresponding values uh, for the slot, for example. So uh, this work is inspired basically by uh, the work that has been previously done in context of passage search. Okay, so uh, given our embeddings, what this layer does then is that for each token EI in the dialogue encoder, it tries to find the maximum uh, uh, token within the slot encoding that is the maximum similarity for this particular token in the dialogue encoder. And the output of this maximum layer is then this uh, corresponding uh, maximum similarity slot encoding value from the slot encoder. And the output of this layer basically is given to these three predictors that we have. We also get uh, the system, uh, di the dialogue state memory from the system together with the informed memory from the system. And we use it as actually additional auxiliary features that are passed to our two, our two predictors, uh, the defer base value predictor and the slot operation predictor, which are useful for them. So what does these three predictors do? The refer based uh, value predictor leverages auxiliary features such as the system informed memory and dialogue state memory from the previous term to, break, to predict the value of the slot, this particular slot. So it's basically looking at uh, if the value of the slot is present in the previous terms or if it comes from the system informed value. Slot operation predictor one is basically telling us where the value is, is whether the value is present in this particular utterance, and uh, if it is, where should the value uh, come from, or if it is available in the history, for example. Basically, what it does is it tells us whether uh, there is no value, the, the value for this particular slot is not available in the current utterance, whether the values don't care. We had an example of that in our dialogue state for don't care values, whether it should be true or false, a binary value whether it should come from the spam predictor, like there is a spam that contains the value for this particular slot, or whether it should come from the refer or uh, inform memory, which are given by the refer based value predictor. So it's kind of telling us which information to look at to get the value of this particular uh, slot, domain slot pair. Finally, the spam based value predictor extracts a slot value from the current dialogue, if possible, if the slot operation predictor says the value should come from the slot, basically. And the output of that is the start position distribution for the 
possible start position for this particular span, as well as the possible end for position for the particular span. Finally, for our experiments, it uh, evaluated our method on three data sets, multiples 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3. And we used joint ball accuracy as the evaluation metric, which basically the value of which is one, if and only if uh, both the domain slot pair is correctly identified by the dialog state tracking system, as well as the value of this particular domain slot pair is correctly identified. And we have three research questions. One is, uh, can uh, our dialogue state uh, tracking model improve the effectiveness of multi-domain dialogue state tracking uh, in a regular setting? And second is, for unseen uh, domain uh, slot pairs, then training data set for the unseen domain is very constrained. How well does the, uh, our method do? And the third setting is for the zero-shot setting, where we have no information about this unseen domain slot pair in this training that is completely new domain. Can, can our, our uh, models still effectively track the dialogue state for unseen domain slot pairs. So here are our results. Uh, so this is for research question one. Can our model improve effectiveness of multi-domain dialogue state tracking uh, by sharing these tracking parameters across uh, domains? You can see that our model uh, significantly outperforms state-of-the-art method um, by 2.4 and 6.1%. And uh, same for um, the other baseline where uh, uh, our model for the scalable, so uh, 3 pi is not scalable to new domains. And when we compare our model with uh, the scalable model, it uh, basically outperforms the scalable model by 13.6%. And for few shot setting, our model, again, outperforms uh, the best performing uh, uh, systems. Um, so for compared to uh, 3 pi, it's basically 5 to 12% 12, 12 improvement in multiples 2.1 and similar improvements for the other data sets, except for multiples 2.3, where we get slightly less improvement. I know I'm running out of time, so I'll yeah. just skip yeah. this example. And finally, for the zero shot setting, again, our model outper significantly out outperforms the existing baselines. In this case, 3 pi is not applicable because it always requires the existence of some training data for unseen domains. But uh, for the uh, other two uh, baselines, trade and MADST, which can be applied to unseen domains, our model still significantly outperforms them. Okay, so as a conclusion, basically we address the, the problem of scaling and domain transfer for multi-domain task-based virtual assistants and propose a similarity-based multi-domain dialogue state tracking model. And our uh, experiments show that our model significantly outperforms a current state-of-the-art DST model, 3Pi, in the regular standard supervised setting. And in zero-shot setting, it outperforms the existing more scalable um, baselines, uh, MADST, for example, that can be used uh, in, in the cases where you have no information, no training data for new domain. Thank you very much.